what's the bag of lag, and why I should I be scared of it? Don't, don't, you don't, you don't pull things out of the bag of lag. You don't want that. I, I wasn't going, to, but. <laughs> Yeah, so the Bag of Lag contains a single deck that has one copy of every card in Exceed. That'll do it. Why? Oh, because there's a new feature in the module. Uh, you can now search for cards. So if you right-click a deck or a discard pile and hit click search, they all have the names. Oh, cool. But it needs a reference somewhere. Oh, they're not just the numbers. Yeah, they're not just the numbers. They actually show the card names. Which means you can type in a card name or you can type in yeah, one of these things. Yeah, if you're things. searching a discard or something, you can type in and see how many copies are in it. Yeah, you can type in those to uh, search for a normal, special, or ultras as well. So it saves time. Excellent. Yeah. So the so the the bag of lag contains the searchable bag of or the searchable deck of every card in the seed, um, <laughs> which I think includes every different normal, or like every different iteration of the normals. So if you search for grasp, you get eight different grasps. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Play with it in your Don't own time. Touch it. It <laughs> Don't will... touch it if you're not doing that. Yeah, it will it will cause I mean, a lot of lag. <laughs> I mean, if you're making customs, I can see, like, custom other stuff. I can see how it could be useful. I got the idea from a UFS mod uh, module. Huh. Interesting. Wait, there's a bag that contains deck of every single so card in, in UFS? In the UFS module that they showed me, there's a bag that... Well, it, there's a deck that contains every, like, standard legal card. Um, okay. Which gets updated That's over time. Still... Oh, I, I guess I guess if you're building a deck, then that is it's, helpful. Yeah, so there's one module for deck building and there's one module for playing. So like they actually have a deck building module. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Um, and then you just save the object. And... Exactly. And I'm planning on tinkering with that more because there's seventh cross characters in UFS now. So. Fair enough. Um... I'll take heads. Alrighty then. Uh, right. You flip. Galdred Sejun. This is pretty crazy. Uh, this rate and Hydra Helix can make this um, match up or break it. I will. Um, basically, Galdred has ways to cut Sejun into I mean, tiny pieces. But I can't she has... make Galdred take second. She has an advantage I'll take first, I in guess. general. Uh, taking first right. to Sejun is probably oh, no, not a good idea. Didn't work. Uh, she needs that's Galdred not to draw Hydra yeah, Helix. Yeah, that's not because... the number I'm supposed to have. I'm supposed to have seven. Turn one, Hydra Helix is very rare. Um, Alright, I'm going to turn Andy down on my end and then turn them both throw up. Throw that. Throw that. Can I get another sound check from both of you? One, Yo. two, three. One, two, three. What? What? Yo. Am I right. good? Uh, can, how does Reggie sound now, y'all? I'm asking. Sorry, I'm asking Chad as well. Oh, good. Sounds good to me. Um, okay, turn one I'm going to do ever do, and EX Transform in our guidance. Alright. This is the thing that I'm apparently not supposed to strike with turn one. Weird, okay. I will strike. Thank you. Okay, uh, so, uh, dive, block, cross, and... Uh, actually even focus and eviscerate our viable options. It's probably going to be a block dive across. Um, there's also explosive cocktail, which is very threatening. So, she tries to jump in I mean, on the risk explosive cocktail. Eat she, gets explosive punished, cocktail. she gets punished hard by a... Like, that loses a dive, but gets punished hard um, but by something like eviscerate or focus. Fine. Uh, eviscerate in particular. Focus. Alright, he's choosing... Okay, he does lose two explosive yep. cocktail. I take um, four, you take four. Yeah, it is a no, quote-unquote fair trade. No. But it's you after definitely close better three. I do. You're absolutely right. I. Yeah. Uh, you did also discard a card from my hand. Yep. Ooh, that's a good one. Good discard. And then I draw. Yeah, I'll And you take four as well. Yep. Yep. All right. So Goldrick has one transformation. He still has five cards in hand. Uh, I hope he enjoys them. You won't get to have five cards for very long. Well. If this I knew I was going to eat that and did it anyway. Uh, turn goes to Sajun. I mean, what else would I be initiating with? Literally anything, so Dive. I don't jump in my cards. Yeah, yeah I mean, block, then I'd cross. Be Heck, grasp, honestly. Like, I would not be surprised. Seems like the best option. That's the thing, like, Aldrin yeah, wants to preserve well, his opening block, hand. If he doesn't have block, a transformation block, to play, he is yeah. okay to whiff on a strike. He might even want to swing if he has cards he doesn't want to waste. 
Sage and Preps, building up that hands. I'm going As Sage and strike. want to do. Alright, he is... Uh, yeah, I'm going to strike. He should be because... very afraid of this right now. That's what Galdred does. He I plus three guard. Yep. Uh, okay, sweet. That is not uh, as bad as it could be. Okay, yeah. interesting. How Jeez. does that guard resolve? I, I won't be stunned well, anyway. The guard doesn't matter in this curious. case, because you're just... Oh, well, um, the hit effect happens first and then damage. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, if it which matters, means that I will lose first, a guard, but it won't matter. One point of guard, but it doesn't yep. matter. So I take six. Yep. Yeah, so and six, you six discard a card from my hand. Uh, Ooh, stop hitting the like that awesome ones. I am literally never going to resolve that transform effect, so yeah, I'm going to not right transform that, it. That is a completely dead and transformation in this matchup. Uh, oh yeah, and I take. Even though they're strangely close to wow. having. Similar hands Isn't this a nice even match? Um, yeah, Galdred rushing oh, down no, is actually very bad it. for Sage, and she gets stronger yeah, yeah. the more the longer the game goes, for the most part. I will starts out strong, just gets stronger. Strike, spending two force for range. Okay, so that telegraphs a cross or a yoga right, finishing. I will respond with this. What does he run? I'm gonna cross. Block sensible. I'll take the one. Okay. And uh, we'll go to gauge. Um, all right, she gets a range. That's mm -hmm. actually fine. That gives Galdred time to look I'm for transformations. Cross. So he's jumping in to keep the pressure uh, up. Or probably want to rage too. That is his favorite range. Yep. Uh, although it is good uh, for her because oh, of her fair. transformation here. She can play a grasp at range two if she wants to. That said, grasp at range two is very unsafe because again, eviscerate. Eviscerate is bad. I well, will. Dangerous. He is a good hand. Boost I think. Spike. All right, boosting makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, he's definitely got a couple cards that he's been holding. Um, probably they're each different specials that he doesn't want to waste. Uh, as for Sajun, she should be loading up her hand. I think like. Make sure you I have will... an option that beats Eviscerate is generally the thing. Ideally, you want to... Yeah, worth uh... a shot. Parry Eviscerate. <laughs> there it is. He doesn't have it. Oh, die. No I didn't expect to die. Uh, there is a I'm not surprised by. Um, Good to know. All right, so Golfer yep. should change cards to probably... Or actually, just right. boost Spike is uh, fine, honestly. Uh, like, being forced to reading the dive is not that bad when you have plus two armor, plus six guard. Is All he right. striking? Ooh. Yep, cool. And then I'm gonna strike. This man fears nothing. Well, I'm gonna spend this He's gonna and play the beat whatever you play. Everything. Or actually, it doesn't beat yep. everything. I will pull you in. Okay. I was about to say okay. that doesn't beat the grasp. Two. Or sorry, the dive. Uh, the two. dive. Yep. The dive actually would have yep. uh, would have beaten that. Uh, so should be 18. 17. Uh, you had one armor from the boost. You have one armor off the boost. Uh, I didn't realize I'd already taken one damage there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Careless play by Sejun. The dive was pretty good there, because one armor, three guard. Uh, I will prepare. I'm going to spend one force to retreat one. Yep, going to back to his favorite yep. range, reloading his hands. And two. Uh, so transgression is still no. This is very good for Galdred. Uh, uh, she has four games. Transformation seems really interest, important. Which is actually pretty so, real here. On a parry transgression. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah. That is, uh, that is definitely Galdred's best transformation. Others may I'm disagree. I'm gonna boost with Metamorphosis. Alright, so probably to going to... Take another action. Oh, weird. Okay. Strike. Okay, going to range. So this is either okay. Cocktail so... Dive or Block again. Might be Cocktail, might either be way, Dive. Either way, his next turn he can reload to three. So this is a good way to get her to spend resources while he's just changing cards, basically. It wouldn't be too bad for him to cross. Like, Reggie is a player who's very unpredictable, so... Uh, he's not afraid of anything, and he's willing to play just about anything because maybe you read it right, maybe you don't. Like he will, he'll take those odds. Also, might just be a block. Game. Yeah, so like, it's it's hard to consider that he's only playing something sensible and therefore play the safe thing. He will play something insensible, which makes nothing you play safe. Mm. In particular, cross means that he can uh, spend more time to build his hand back up, and Sajin will have to play, you know, an Ari or something. Have mad respect. To go Assault. The board. Uh, it is cocktail. Cool. Okay. So Dodge I jump happens. into range. And right. I miss, and then I close. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. I'll prepare. Sadrian still needs to respect so the... Will I? Uh, Actually, and then I draw another yeah, one. Yeah, turn. Yep. Yeah, Sadrian still needs to respect Eviscerate, which sucks for her, basically, because Eviscerate is the thing that threatens to I'll destroy her again. entire hands. She will probably always play something that beats it. Otherwise, she's taking huge I risks. I will strike. Alright. Uh, cross and die. Mm -hmm. Her options that beat Eviscerate. 
Cross is actually fairly safe. If she has a Cross Radiant X Cross, she might do that. She might also just try to crush it with damage, she but she's capped on her damage Mr. output for Ink, ink Spike. Ink? Uh, hmm. I think she crosses if she has it. Getting well, grasp we'll deal with deal. the worst cases, which would be... I'm going to cross out. Okay, so he takes three. Yeah, right. Withering Toxin is a respectable attack, not one of his most essential ones. He uses a little bit more life, which is unfortunate. Uh, but it puts him at range three. He can function fine at range three. He's at a bit of a disadvantage relative to Seijun. Seijun's turn. Uh, she's probably going to just stay put in prep because at range three she's very comfortable. And she's not in danger of getting hit by an Eviscerate here, so what else? Prepare. Yep, so Godred either strikes or he spins force to move is my expectation here. Um, maybe discarding from him, maybe spinning life. If he has uh, Blood Frenzy and another transformation, I'm gonna I think carry he has... Spike? There's a spike. Okay, so that telegraph right. city has the sweep or the eviscerate. Alright. Since those are both the things that lose a spike. Actually, no. Blood Frenzy would also be a sensible thing because it loses a spike uh, in terms of the damage trading, and he is starting to need to worry about life. No, uh, I'll play that. If she strikes, it kind of telegraphs that she's playing the ink spike, which is kind of the mid speed equivalent to a spike, or an actual spike, but I think she already played one. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, but like if if she strikes now yeah, in response I'll to that parry, it's telegraphs the mid speed, this. and there's no expenditure, so it's probably range three. So it's almost certainly cool. ink spike. Uh, it's an ink spike. Focus. Take eight. That stuns you. Wait, what? There's seven. Sorry, that does not stun you. Yeah. The X stuns. There we go. Uh, but this is not that. So seven. So you uh, five off. after five after armor. You're at ten. Yeah, five after armor. Um, yeah, he wasn't getting yeah. armor. And then uh, I. And the yes, Goddard draws, cool. going over his hand size yep. three. Weird. Actually, oh, and I'm going to transform that, not gauge it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. I will... This could still turn around in a strike. moment. If he hits with Hydra Helix right now, um, then the game mm. might be his. So, she should... Uh, uh... She should just try to tank it with life, playing a sweep, ideally, so that even if it is Helix, she can survive. Uh, of course, this is Reggie, so there's always the risk that he's playing a spike or something that doesn't make sense in any other context, like a cross. Uh, uh, Helix here would be hilarious. I think if Galdred has Helix, he plays Helix. Uh, there is nothing that Sajin can do that will actually stop him from going off. The best she can do so is I'm trade going to. Him. I think it probably is Helix. Or we've got one transgression. Transgression is not a high value play. I mean, it would give him an excellent yeah, transformation, but I don't feel like it's transgression. With three cards in hand, still, it's not a deal. Blood Frenzy is likely here. So Helix and Blood Frenzy are the two fast. Eh, two I guess power Frenzy hopes. would be a thing that you also there we could go. do. And then, of course, it could always just be Spike. Spike is always the mix up. Or Assault, even. Assault is. Assault will get Galdrick killed. Sure, let's bet oh, on that this turn, and just bet that you're turns. not going to play Helix. I will play... Be very sad. Uh, if he's betting against... Discarding two force to get huh. uh, so yokai range. I'm going to play Yokai Banishing. Yeah. Dang, it's you got it. Awesome. It's the thing with his feats. Helix, I'll be honest. Uh, right. I push you one, and okay. then I decide if I want to push you further. Uh, no, I'll just draw two more. Alright. And transforming? And transform or gauge it? I will... I guess he's transforming it just to make his exceed cost because I don't think he values this transformation in this All matchup. Alright, All right, that was, uh, that was uh -huh. Goblin Strike. It is Sajin's turn. She's at seven again, so she preps. I don't think she needs to flip in this matchup. Uh... Unless she gets hit by Eviscerate or whatever. Galdred ideally will boost uh, Heightened Reflexes, whatever the heck it's called, Fashion the Eye, I don't know. No, Fashion the Eye is transformation. He'll boost the move to take another action, right? Uh, and then he'll strike a range two. It's his ideal. I'm going to strike with this, oh. and I will spend two force to increase its range. My goodness. Alright, that feels like a sweep. 
could be insult. One assault is down. I don't know about the others, but like I feel like some reason I think this is assault, but I don't know why. Hmm. So I'm calling uh, speed. Reggie's calling it assault. It would be super above curve. Yeah. A little if no. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with my gut. I think it's assault. Okay. That is super not assault. Oh, that's not. I take nine. That's game. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> I went with a Sage and Ultra. <laughs> there you go. Sage and Ultra, they can be played. That's a thing that I've only done once before, and it's when I hit on flip side with her other Ultra for like 12. Oh, wow. Um, oh, you, had, just, the, you uh, had the Hylic. You had, you had the Helix. Had the Helix. <sighs> Yeah, uh, I was Helix for it. hit from there. <laughs> no, no, I mean the turn See, before. He had, the, he had it from the yeah, turn before. It. Yeah, yeah. I the only reason I didn't play Helix was I was pretty sure it wouldn't stun, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna eat a bunch of damage. I mean that is true. It wouldn't stun, and well, you would have eaten a bunch wouldn't, of damage. It wouldn't stun a spike or a sweep. It would stun anything else. Uh, uh, I had, he had a hand. cards. What, what card? What hands? Read the effect in Helix. Oh right, yeah. You hit first and make me discard. That's. Yeah, I gotta remember that. All this stuff. Um, that is how that works. That was a very oh. silly game where <laughs> I weirdly managed to use a Sage and Ultra. <laughs> yeah. 